Hello, this is Steve Powers. Today I want to talk to you about a little program called K-Gamut. It uh, might be a small program and um, a very simple program, but it's uh, uh, a very good tool to have on hand. I first came across K-Gamut from James Gurney's website. Um, he posted it uh, a few, about a month or so, or maybe two months ago. I uh, will link to uh, his original post and to um, uh, Kale.com. I believe that is uh, the... If I believe that's how you pronounce it. I'm probably butchering that. But I will uh, put the link there so you can uh, find this uh, program. The program is uh, primarily for Windows, uh, though it will run under Wine uh, for Linux. What KGamer is good for is to allow us to analyze the colors of images or paintings. Uh, I should images of paintings. This way we can decide which uh, colors we want to include or exclude in our own paintings and apply it to traditional media or to digital media. The way you use K-Gamut is to uh, pull a image or drag it over. It just takes a second to open it up. And uh, here we can see um, the complete uh, color palette of this image. Well, here we have down at the bottom, you can choose uh, to uh, drop out the lights, the midtones, and uh, see uh, and the darks, of course. Um, and see which ones we want to keep and which ones uh, we don't. Uh, highlights are uh, pretty much in the light uh, values and of course the shadow is on the dark values. Now to save these out, I will just save out the midtones. Um, what you do is you right click on either one of these images. One is going to be more of a, a value uh, uh, palette and the other one is uh, more um, swatches. So let's save this one out. Okay, gamut. Okay, save uh, this one out. Okay, gamut, and we'll make this K gamut two. Let's save. All right, from here we can uh, bring uh, both of these uh, bitmaps into Photoshop. So let's uh, minimize this and pull up our uh, new bitmaps. There are the values, and here is uh, more of the swatches. Now, which one you use is a matter of preference. I'm bringing up the brush tool and hitting Alt to uh, pull up um, the color picker. It's a very quick way to do it. This way, keeping the ring on, the color picker ring on, I can see which ones I actually do have under the color picker. Now, personally, I like to work from uh, the uh, what I call swatches. It's uh, pixelated colors. Now, a couple ways you could do this. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make a selective palette. Uh, it's, it's a manual way, and there is an automatic way that I showed um, in an earlier tutor tutorial. So if you want to go back to that, um, you can see, uh, see how that procedure is done. This one, we're just going to use the brush tool, and uh, we're going to create a new layer. And that's what I'm actually going to make my palette on. Now, I did um, uh, choose a hard brush. So I, um, let's get, put the space gun all the way down. So um, I will get the full color of what I pick instead of um, a lesser value. Uh, do I like that color? I don't know. I'm just going to show you how to pick it. And then you can pick out one of these purples like that. On the other spectrum, you have some very uh, vibrant greens over here, some regular uh, for some dark ones. And you have some oranges, very similar to that other pink, but you, you get the you get the gist of it. You can pick any color you want, and you can create a palette and um, uh, save that out, or uh, save the whole image out as a palette and uh, pick from it. Well, uh, hopefully this uh, does help, and you can apply it to your own uh, work, creating those uh, um, selective palettes and applying them uh, to uh, your own compositions. And if you also want to analyze uh, other uh, works, say uh, a Rembrandt or Monet or uh, even James Gurney, you, uh, if you have an image of uh, one of their paintings, uh, put it in K-Gamut and uh, analyze it and see what color palettes they chose. Well, hopefully this helps, and I'll see you next time. Have a good day.